Hello everyone, welcome to 17W06A. This is the first snapshot of 2017 and there have been a couple of awesome new blocks added. Not too many, but it's a good way to get started. Did I just see a horse? I did just see a horse. That is not what I expected. But yes, so there is a brand new snapshot. It is looking pretty cool and there's a couple of things I do want to check out. I've completely run the wrong way right now. Anyway, so before we do anything, I quickly want to address a situation with our base down here. If you guys missed the live stream that we did on the previous Snapshot Survival, uh, definitely go check that out. It's archived in the description below. Uh, if I do forget, please do let me know in the comments to put the link down there. But yeah, so we've redone our base here a little bit, but enough about that. I'm going to go gather up some resources and we can check out the new blocks added in the Snapshot. successfully destroyed the riverbed we can go and actually start getting some of these awesome new blocks so I think there's two technically three yeah so there's technically three new blocks first one is glazed terracotta which I think is actually pretty cool the pictures I've seen so far make it look pretty awesome now why did I break that and then place it again I may never know but yeah so we've got is that my horse again it is we've got glazed terracotta which we'll get to soon uh, concrete and concrete powder which is used to make the concrete so I guess let's just I'm gonna craft up these clay into clay blocks and smelt those into hardened clay because I don't think I actually have any can't recall ever coming across a mesa in this world so I'm gonna assume I don't have any hardened clay but let's smelt the rest of Did that really only make 21 blocks oh, I guess that works 16 and so on yeah I'll smelt this up and I will show you guys in a second how to make the concrete there's no coal in there, maybe I should start with that. Strangely conveniently placed village, I just came in to get some cacti because it's the only thing I don't have and we need dye to make the concrete and terracotta... Uh, glazed terracotta, right. What's in here just always pays to have a look. Nothing of value. Take a saddle. Here's my current problem, I have 15 out of 16 dyes. I need coca beans. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea where the jungle is. I know there is a jungle because I remember coming past one when we spent like forever looking for polar bears. But I have absolutely no idea which way to start. So I only have eight rockets left. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to have to go adventuring. Hopefully I can find a jungle soon. It's not going to be too far away, I hope. And then we can finally have all 16 dies. Well, this has gone absolutely terribly. I'm out of rockets. I'm in the middle of the ocean. Fortunately, I have literally just made it to this island with some trees so I can make a boat. Hmm. I'm really not prepared for this, am I? I've got <laughs> literally nothing to survive with. Oh. So I was like AFK boating, I was basically just holding down forward while looking at my other screen and then I look back and this is what I see. <laughs> I have never come across one of these naturally in survival in all my time. Oh, have I? I think I may have, but I can't remember. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Nice little find, but it's not a jungle. Maybe I'll take a mushroom back. Oh, that's a good idea. I have infinite food. Holy moly, that's some interesting looking terrain. Right, I'm going to keep looking for a jungle, or I might wait around until daytime so I can take a screenshot of that. But regardless, there's no cocoa beans to be found here. I found another one. <laughs> How have I not found a jungle, but I've managed to find two mushroom islands? I've been traveling for so long now. Fortunately, most of it's actually been ocean. But I've, been, I've gone so ridiculously far. Look, we're at 10,000, 9,000. We've traveled like... a long way. <laughs> I just want a jungle. I just need coca beans. Oh, I do a million miles, I swear, in this world. At least. Now, what is up with the rendering on all these cows? They have like antennas or something. <sighs> I've given up on that way. i am come all the way back home now. Took me forever, but I'm going to go this way instead because I gave up. I ended up hitting ice planes. <sighs> Let's go this way instead. Maybe I should sleep first. Well, that took significantly less time. Literally, like, what are we at now? 
Like, that's like 2,000 blocks. <sighs> oh, well, I can't complain too much. We finally found one. Yeah, this is some nice looking terrain, may I point out. Oh, help, we're stuck in our boat. There we go. Right, cocoa beans. Should be just on some of the trees, shouldn't we? On here, no, on there, no. <laughs> Come on, I literally need just like two, probably even one. All right, I'm just gonna have to go into, oh, I saw some over there. Right, let's go grab some, head back home and finally get on with the episode. Cocoa beans have been acquired. I have a new horse and we have made it back home. Didn't take me too long, thankfully, but it really helped that we found a horse. So, open you up. And there are the final dies. Great, now we have all 16. Now that we actually have all the dies, I think we should start off by looking at the concrete, or at least the concrete powder block. So we're gonna need, of course, all our dies here, and you're gonna need sand and gravel. So the crafting to make this, it's just sort of with some magenta, why not? Is four, it doesn't matter the pattern or anything, four sand and four gravel with one piece of dye, and you get your stained concrete powder, in this case magenta. So this is basically just like sand or gravel or red sand or whatever, and it's affected by gravity. Uh, dig it out with a shovel. But the main key thing with concrete powder is when you place it down or it has impact or direct contact with a water source, it goes solid <laughs> and turns into what is known as just as probably quite obvious concrete. So. We have very bright, that is incredibly bright, <laughs> new solid block and a new gravity block. Basically, concrete powder, personally, I think it just looks like colored sand or more stained sand. I'd love to see what the orange concrete powder looks like. I wonder if it look a bit like uh, red sand, which is more orange. But anyway, point being is that we now have a new colored block to work with, or two new colored blocks to work with, which I think is pretty awesome. What I actually wanted to do is, uh, let's not, I want to have four of each block, so four of the uh, concrete and four of the powder, just so we've got a little bit of like a record of what we've got. Yeah, so I'm going to go through, make all the different colors, and I'll show you guys what they all look like. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory in terms of color-wise and how they look, but I'll make them up anyway, and we can lay them out and see how they look all together. Here we have it. That's all the new blocks in terms of concrete. That's concrete powder and the actual concrete itself, and I think that looks really cool, just having all the different, like, kind of rainbow effect. Of course, they're not in actual order, but that looks so awesome. So we'll come back to those later. We'll place them all down and look at them and compare them next to each other. But for now, I'm going to dye all this clay here and then you smelt it and it turns into the new terracotta blocks, which are absolutely awesome. So I'm going to go through, dye all, the, dye all of these clay here into the different colors and then I'll smelt them up and show you guys what the new terracotta blocks look like because they are really cool and I'm really excited to see what they look like in game. Those look awesome. I think that is so cool. It's going to make building in this game absolutely just change forever because it's just going to make detail and like decoration absolutely amazing. Except I'm noticing that this Medienta one has arrows on it, which is interesting. Anyway, we're not going to leave them in here. We're actually going to place them all down and have a look at them in a second. But I want to get all of the different blocks, all of the concrete and concrete powder here and all of the... I'm not going to bother about the hardened clay, but I'm going to get all the terracotta ones and all line them up. How wide is this actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> is that perfect or what? Right, so I'm going to line all of this out, make a bigger like row 3 by 16, I guess, yeah. 3 by 16 and we can look at all the new blocks and there's actually a little trick if you put these in like a 4 by 4 grid. Uh, I think they actually make their own pattern, plus they are all placeable like directional so you can place them kind of like logs or pistons and stuff like that and they actually have different textures on each side which I think is going to be absolutely awesome. So I'm going to line all those out and then we're going to have a better look at the new blocks because I think they just look awesome and I can't wait to see what they look like placed down. Now isn't that a sight to behold? That looks so cool. The patterns on there are just absolutely awesome. I mean, you can't really see the full pattern at the moment because I know that it does make like a full pattern when you put them in a 4x4, four four, um, well sorry, 2x2 two two shape. But that looks awesome. Ow. Good job. <laughs> that looks so cool. Uh, these are all the new blocks right there, everyone. Those are the new blocks so far added into 1.12. And I think it's looking absolutely awesome so far. 
really excited to get to use these somehow. Some people are complaining about it being, you know, kind of taking away the whole sandbox, make your own things. But I reckon it's cool that they've added something that's going to make it a bit, a bit more unique. And I think it's something that we're just going to have to play out a bit and see how it goes. I wish we did have more like an actual terracotta block. But I think an extra terracotta block is just going to be the normal wherever it is. Normal hardened clay. That'll probably just be normal terracotta. Maybe if they added a terracotta design for the normal hardened clay, that'd be kind of cool as well. But yeah, so before we finish up this episode, I quickly want to take all of these terracotta designs and put them into their full 2x2 form and see how they really look. That took forever. That was a real pain to do. Just, just, ugh. Just trying to maneuver around and place all these because they're all directional and you ought to place them all differently. This is a little bit annoying. But I got there in the end, it took forever, but I think that looks so cool. So those are all the patterns. I think it'll look really awesome using those as kind of like an accent or like decorative things and big like hallways and just on sides of buildings and all sorts of things. Infinite possibilities. I will really enjoy these blocks, I hope. Um, but I'm looking forward to actually using them in a proper application rather than just putting them in a big wall here like we've got at the moment. But anyway guys, that is going to do it for this snapshot. Hopefully there will be some more awesome stuff coming in the next snapshots. I really hope you guys all enjoyed. I had so much fun playing around with all the new blocks. As usual, make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already for more snapshot survival and other survival videos like Existence and Game Mode 4. Also be sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video, it really does help support it and lets me know what you guys thought. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the snapshot and what you guys would like to see me do in later snapshot videos. But anyway guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you later.